Hello, my Monet Cafe artist friends and visitors. This is Susan Jenkins, and today I'm going to be bringing you a little quick, hopefully economical tip because pastel papers get very expensive. Now, I found this when I was just at the dollar store. It's a little packet of 36 little squares. They are four and a half by five and a half. Um, sizes so it's not really a standard size but you know you could make it work um, I'm thinking these will be good for just little practice pieces but uh, the challenge is that um, as I talk about all the time you need with pastels to have a sanded surface so I've actually had a lot of our artist friends on Monet Cafe art group on Facebook share they've actually used real sandpaper um, but the challenge is that real sandpaper can be too coarse and it'll just eat up your very expensive pastels. I'm gonna be using my pastel palette that I did from the last video, which was just such a blessing to realize I had, I was trying to describe the color wheel, and I happened to have this tray from Publix that was used as appetizers, and uh, it makes a neat little studio palette just to keep right here beside me when I work. I have a very limited palette right here, but it works for what I'm doing today for sure. And um, I wanted to show this, um, the sandpaper here. This is the black and it is waterproof. So if you wanna add, you know, you can't add many um, paints to this because um, it's black, but if you wanted to on some of the lighter colors, you know, maybe try a watercolor underpainting or, you know, something, it is waterproof. Um, the problem, like I'm trying to get at, is that this is abrasive paper number 80. Um, these are used, I think, to put in little belt sanders um, to sand furniture and things. So this one, 80, the lower the number, the more coarse. That one's very coarse. Um, that one's also 80. But you see you got black and then the regular color, which is actually the color of UART paper. Um, it's almost exactly the same color. But then you finally get to where you get 100. That's a little finer. And finally, 150. That's the finest grit that they have, which is what I have up here on my board. It's a little more coarse than... Um, uh, the UART, I usually use UART 400 grit, um, but I happen to like the Sennelier Le Carte paper that is very coarse. And so I'm just about to try this and see what happens. I'm going to be using a little reference photo from Paint My Photo of a cute little uh, bee with some flowers. Um, just something simple. And uh, hopefully this paper will be something that we can use. Now, it's not archival quality, which is the quality that uh, artists, that's the word that describes um, uh, it is going to last. It's not going to yellow. You know, it's an artist quality for if you're selling your paintings. But it doesn't say it might last as long as the other stuff. I don't know, but it's definitely great for practicing and a lot cheaper than some of the other papers. So I'm going to just do a quick little painting. This is a quick video, and hopefully we found something that can save us some money. All right, let's get painting.
All right, yes, that music was getting a little annoying, <laughs> but I thought it was fun for the uh, the fun painting of the bumblebee. I've got some uh, bluegrass roots, and sometimes I like that uh, country bluegrass sound. So anyway, but it was getting on my nerves a little bit. But um, I wanted to just share a little bit here. Uh, I'm kind of purposely working on this um, maybe overworking it a little bit. I'm kind of seeing how many layers I can get down on this sandpaper. And so far it appears I can get a decent amount of layering on it. And also it's not eating up my pastels as much as I thought it might because this is still a pretty coarse piece of sandpaper. It's uh, the 150 grit like I uh, mentioned at the beginning. And uh, I do notice a couple of things different about it. Uh, with regard to comparing it to regular uh, archival quality sand, uh, sanded papers for artists is that it is a little thinner. UART paper is thicker. Um, I also noticed that while I was able, it said waterproof on the back and indeed it was, I was able to apply the alcohol wash in this case. I use that just because it dries faster and I think it behaves a little differently than water alone. So uh, it did receive the alcohol wash, you know, fairly well and curled up on the edges a little bit, but that does sometimes happen with UART paper as well. Uh, but again, this is more for uh, if you're on a budget and you just want to play around a little bit, or if you're not on a budget, I mean, who doesn't want to save money? But you just want to play around a little bit and or practice something or do a preliminary painting before a bigger painting. That is what I think that this uh, paper would be good for. And I'm going to see, we have, uh, like I said, had some people in our uh, Monet Cafe art group on Facebook share that they too have used the sanded pastels and used more like a, a 400 grit, maybe even a 500 grit. I don't know my grits of hardware sandpaper, hardware store sandpaper that well, but um, it it's something else to explore. So this was just, like I said, the one that I found at the dollar store. This piece right here, this little five and a half by four and a half piece, I calculated it out and it's less than three cents. So you could definitely can afford to make some mistakes on it. Also, too, if you just want to play around with a technique um, or you're doing a demo from another artist, you know, you're, you're like, wow, I want to play around with this and um, you're unsure of yourself, this would be a great paper for that. So again, I would use it for practice, for um, just getting more experience. I would not use it for a permanent piece that you might be selling um, or anything you want to be sure that it has longevity to it. Uh, so anyway, enjoy the rest of this painting. I particularly liked uh, the last part of the little buzzing bee that sort of made the painting. You know, right now this is just kind of like, uh, whatever, a bunch of little lilacs. Is that what these are called? But the bee gave it life. And uh, so I think I'll call him Buzzy. So I'll be quiet now. And I hope you've learned something here. I know I sure did. Please, please comment and uh, tell me what you want uh, in a lesson. And uh, also feel free to subscribe to this channel and join our group on Facebook called Monet Cafe Art Group. So happy painting everyone and I really enjoyed this little painting. Bye!